thanks to five servicing missions and more than 31 years of operation, our view of the universe and our place within it has never been the same. The beauty of space, once enjoyed only by astronomers and astronauts. Over the years, there have been space telescopes deployed and experimented with, but it was not until April 1990 that the Hubble Space Telescope was launched, and miraculously, those bound to Earth could finally see what lay beyond the blue skies that enveloped them. As you fly through Hubble's image of the Gum Nebula, you become mesmerized by the clusters of stars. The Hubble Telescope is named in honor of astronomer Edwin Powell Hubble. His findings fundamentally changed the scientific view of the universe. Supporters state that Hubble's discovery of nebulae outside of our galaxy helped pave the way for future astronomers. The Hubble Telescope's launch and deployment in April 1990 on the Space Shuttle Discovery marked the most significant advance in astronomy since Galileo's telescope. Thanks to five servicing missions and more than 31 years of operation, our view of the universe and our place within it has never been the same. Space-based observations proved to be invaluable to astronomy. Artists, using various mediums, have tried to capture the quality of depth such as is seen in this Hubble image of star birth. However, one artist has managed to capture the infinity of space. His name is Ron Russell. Painting in oil, acrylic, and lacquer, he developed reverse paintings on glass. You may know him as a contributor to cosmic illustrations for NASA, Star Trek, Hollywood movies, and dozens of book covers. The New Mexico Museum of Space History has been fortunate to have had two of Russell's paintings donated by David and Lynn Grisham of Albuquerque. This is Lumen Space 2. The date given is July 1991. It is a reverse painting on glass done in tempered lacquer. The inscription on the back reads, For David, with my best wishes. It is signed by Robert Russell, dated November 1993. The second Russell painting, entitled Olympic Field, is dated 1984. It is a reverse painting on glass using acrylic and lacquer. A photograph cannot do these pictures justice. In person, when looking at these, you are drawn into the depths of space. The light captures the beauty of the cosmos the way the Hubble Telescope Eye does. I'm Sue Taylor, Chief Curator for the New Mexico Museum of Space History, sharing this glimpse into our space vault of some of our new acquisitions. This ain't the Hubble, images from space, as created by Ron Russell. Visit our YouTube channel and Facebook page for more interesting programs.